four particular microalgae species grown here are able to produce omega-3, a fatty acid widely used as a dietary supplement. But before that, microalgae need to be taken good care of. At the end of the day, microalgae are mini plants, so to grow they need a constant source of light, either natural or artificial. Temperature is also very important for them, ideally between 15 degrees and 20 degrees Celsius. And the third crucial parameter is they need to be stirred. Microalgae need to be in constant movement, so light can be correctly distributed to all of them, so their metabolic processes can be carried out in an efficient way. Scientists here have developed a complex technology called supercritic fluids to extract both omega-3 and also an antioxidant that has further uses in the cosmetic industry. In simple terms, CO2 is used to break the membranes protecting the compounds inside the tiny algae. Researchers here say no chemical solvents are used. We inject carbon dioxide into the microalgae at very high temperatures and pressures. Pressure can reach up to 300 or 400 bars. We obtain a soluble solution that contains both the gas and the microalgae oils. We then release the solution. CO2 is liberated into the air or recycled for further processes. And being heavier, microalgae oils stay at the bottom of the container and we can recover them. Scientists are now looking at new ways to bring this research closer to the market and they already have some ideas in the pipeline. The company has already marketed both dietary supplements and cosmetic products based on omega-3 and antioxidants extracted from microalgae. The next step, they say, is to make this production more competitive in an ever-changing market. The technology is currently expensive, so the resulting products are also more expensive than others available on the market. But prices should moderate when we start scaling up the technology. Also, we hope European legislation will evolve and it will make it more difficult to extract these products using chemical solvents. At the moment, our more sustainable technology will become more widespread and prices of the products will decrease. Scientists here estimate the global demand for omega-3 at around 260,000 tons per year.